There is a camera app here on your Apple Watch that's really, really interesting that basically lets you do multiple different things that most people don't know about. So I wanted to make a video to show you exactly what this is and what it's doing for your iPhone and for your Apple Watch. And I had made a different video that caused a lot of confusion. People were looking for the camera on their watch to see how I was doing this. And the camera app on the Apple Watch is actually not a traditional camera app. It's basically a camera app to control your iPhone's camera. Okay, so that's kind of where the confusion takes place, but it's really, really useful. I'll show you exactly how I use it all the time. So look for the camera remote app. That's the name of it. And go ahead and select it. I'll bring my iPhone over to show you what it's doing exactly. So as soon as I open it here, what it does is it actually triggers the iPhone camera app to open up by itself, right? So this is what it's doing. And right now, if I press this option, I'm gonna get a three second countdown and it's going to take a picture on my iPhone, using my iPhone. So I could use this basically to remote control the camera app. But if you press these three dots, there's a bunch of different options. So I could turn the timer off. So if I go back now, I could just take a picture very quickly. And you could also change the camera. So if I want the top facing camera, which is what's above me here, or the rear facing camera. So front and rear, you also could control the flash. You could change live photos, HDR, all those options are available here. But one really cool thing that most people don't know is this is how you could also use it. You could just use it to view what this is seeing. So if I was to record myself, for example, I could basically use the front facing camera. Let me get this off of here. I could use the front facing camera from this and put this on there and let me press done. So I could point this on myself and then see exactly what I'm recording on here because this camera is much better than the front facing camera, right? These are much better and there's three of them. So typically that's what I like to do with this app. And if you haven't used the camera remote app, that's two really useful ways to use it as a remote, as a way to change your settings, and also as a way to just monitor what this is seeing if you're trying to record something and have the phone far away from you. So I hope you found this useful and I'll catch you on the next video.